Well, what are you standing there for? Come on, sit down over here, be quiet. I'll read you some stories. We'll have a, a really great time, okay? I'm going to uh, point to you, and then you can tell me what your name is, okay? You first. What's your name? Leticia. Leticia, you? Andrea. Andrea. You? Matthew. Matthew. You? Waldo Schwartz. Waldo Schwartz. Wow. Who stuck you with that one? Stuck you with that scar. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, what do you say? I read your story, all right? What do you... Oh, the frog prince. That sound good? Once upon a time, there was a king who had a beautiful but spoiled princess. Well, don't I just know the type? One day, she went down to the lake, and she saw a frog sitting on a rock, a really bad... This is a really stupid story. I hate this story. I'll tell you what. Why don't I tell you the real story? So the princess kissed the frog, and do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? Come on, do you know it? You give them have a guess. No guesses? You know what happened? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zip. The, the, the prince stayed a frog. You know why? Because he liked being green and ugly and slimy, and he could sit around the lake all day on his lily pad and, and, and eat flies and croak at the moon. And you know what happened to the princess? She went back to the castle, right? And, and, and she married this, like, dweeby, nerdy accountant poet. And she got really, really ugly. She lost all her looks. And then she, she had so much really bad plastic surgery that she was so ugly that not even the frog would kiss her. The end. You know, that story. Oh, yeah. Another story. All right. This is so bad. I'll tell you the story of Rumpelstiltskin. Queen, the wheel, the little guy, the gold, the baby, blah, 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 blah. How about I tell you the real story of Uncle Stilton? You want to know what really happened? Mm -hmm. So they took the baby to the royal judge, and the royal judge said, This baby belongs to Uncle Stilton. Hand her over. And so the whiny, selfish, nagging queen had to give the baby over to Rumpelstiltskin. And did you know what happened then? Do you? Do you have any idea? They lived happily ever after, the baby and Rumpelstiltskin, forever and ever. What do you think of that? Yay! Yeah!